Welcome to this week's tech tip, where we'll take a look at how we can create multiple setups, allowing us to machine our part in more than one orientation. In this example, we have a camshaft with the first end already machined to size. If we take a look at the sequence window, you can see the machining instructions that have already been created for the first setup. If we take a quick look at the simulation, we can see the part's progress as it currently stands. The next step will be to turn the opposite end using a second setup where we'll flip the part and grab onto the already machined end with our chuck. Let's start by selecting Create New Sequence, which will allow us to create a second turning setup. This time around, we'll select the same machine and toolkit that were used the first time, as we're simply going to flip the part in the chuck to complete the turning work. On this page, we want to set the initial CPL to back turn, which will load the part in the opposite orientation so that we can turn the remainder of the shaft. We can also specify a part stick out. In this case, we want to set it to 5 inches. On the next page, we want to set the component grip diameter so that it's gripping on the turn shaft rather than the diameter of the stock. For this example, we'll set it to 1.57 inches and then select OK to load the new sequence. You can see now that the part has been flipped with the turned end clamped in the chuck. We are now ready to find our turning features in the new orientation. In this case, we're only concerned with turn profiles and front face profiles. Now you can see that the new features have been added to the feature tree under the back turn datum. We can now move on to the machining tab. Here you'll notice two headings in the sequence list. The first is grayed out, letting you know that it's not currently the active sequence. However, you can switch back and forth between the sequences by right clicking on the sequence and choosing Select. With our new sequence active, we'll select Machine Feature and set the component to both. We can now select both the front face and turn profile features to machine, and then select done or right click in the workspace to complete the action. With the toolpath now complete for the second setup, we can once again take a look at the simulation to see the results of the new operations. Anytime there is more than one sequence in a given job, you have the option of simulating the individual setups or all of the setups in a single session. Here we're only concerned with the new setup that was just created. With the manufacturing process complete, you can see just how easy it is to use additional setups within a single file to successfully machine a model from multiple orientations. As always, we hope that you found this tech tip helpful and would like to encourage you to explore all of the available EdgeCam tech tips.